And I'd like to begin with a story. Good to have you with us, Noreena. I'm Professor Noreena Hertz, economist. We'll turn to economist Noreena Hertz. Let me bring you into my world. Now I'm joined by Professor Noreena Hertz. Noreena Hertz is back to show us how we can all effectively make decisions. I've spent the past 20 years advising some of the world's leading decision makers. You're speaking to the people who can change the world. The Observer has called Noreena one of the world's leading young thinkers. It's Monday morning. In Washington, the President of the United States is sitting in the Oval Office, assessing whether or not to strike Al-Qaeda in Yemen. At number 10 Downing Street, David Cameron is trying to work out whether to cut more public sector jobs in order to stave off a double-dip recession. Show me with your fingers on a scale from zero to 10, where zero is not challenging at all and 10 is really challenging. Just how challenging you find the environment today. The governments need a new story. They need a new narrative. And there are options. I mean, where, like is, the, where is the vision? What's interesting about your writing style is that it is analytical. You are an economist. But people seem to emerge. To make sense of it all, we're going to have to be able to distinguish the riffs, the melodies, the lyrics from what can otherwise be an overwhelming, cacophonous noise. History is not an army on a forward march. Sometimes all it takes is one person to change its course. Sometimes it takes the voice of hundreds. Sometimes it takes thousands to act. But what all these have in common is that they begin in the imagination. They begin in hope. You cannot impose a big society from above. You cannot impose it top down. That is impossible. Do we have the leadership? Do we have the capability? And do we have the capacity? Yes, the political will and the tools. Yes. The way we thought about the world was profoundly flawed. Up to a third of consumer online reviews are estimated to be false. Up to a third! The British newspaper did a study where they pitted Orlando, a cat, against the UK's leading investment advisors. The truth is that every country pretty much in the developed world for the past 20 years has run for most of the 20 years on a deficit. You have an amazing opportunity to go beyond the conventional, to think beyond the traditional, and to make a real difference. Um, an economist I on every day. Got... <laughs> Interact matters. Charlie says it's getting hot in here. <laughs> it's a road to nowhere. I don't think we're out of the woods by any means yet. Thank you for being here, Arena. You've got a wonderful new book. Arena has. Thank you very much indeed. Bring, Bring me when there's some good news. We will. She's brilliant. Thank you. Now is the time to face the world with eyes wide open.